I am Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker on the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this uh, Thursday evening, almost 10 o'clock. Looking at live pictures um, down at Easton's Beach in Newport. So far, the visibility not too bad, though I do expect uh, dense fog later on this evening and overnight. In fact, it wouldn't even surprise me if a dense fog advisory is issued later on. We don't have one right now, but there's so much humidity in the air. That high humidity not only promoting the low clouds and fog, but helping to fuel some areas of sprinkles and some uh, rain showers, light rain showers passing through some areas right now. Note the visibility, at least at the 10 o'clock hour, really not, or the 9 o'clock hour, really not too bad at this point. But these numbers will be dropping down overnight into very early uh, on Friday morning. So uh, once again, uh, kind of murky start on Friday. Look at the high temps today. Even with the mainly cloudy skies, we were able to top out in the upper 70s, so even 80 in Taunton. We are warm and humid for Friday as well. I don't think we'll get to 80, but we should be well into the 70s. And of course, the humidity will make it feel warmer. Take a look at the satellite and radar composite, and you see these little elements of green starting to pop up, sprinkles and some light rain showers in a very humid atmosphere. So kind of damp and dreary uh, later on this evening and during the overnight and probably spilling over into early on Friday morning. Here's the wider view. Got some thunderstorms in um, central PA right now, but no thunder here, just kind of nuisance rain showers and drizzle. So our next weather system that I'm tracking is um, this front. It's draped across the Great Lakes and through the Mississippi Valley, the Midwest. This is our next weather maker for Saturday. It'll take until Saturday to get here. Once it arrives, it will help to uh, trigger at least a scattered shower or thunderstorm on Saturday. Though at this point, I really don't think Saturday's a washout. I mean, keep in mind, this time of year, uh, the length of day is 15 hours long. And during that 15-hour stretch on Saturday, there'll be many hours where it's actually rain-free. But for a time, as that front comes through, we'll catch a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. What the front is doing is really separating two air masses, the high dew points, the high humidity shaded in green, and behind the front, very dry, low dew point air, very refreshing air across the northern plains. This is actually arriving Saturday night and Sunday. Sunday's very nice and refreshing. But all this green, these high dew points, uh, tropical air sticking around now through at least uh, Saturday afternoon. So let's get in real close. And we're going to walk you through it hour by hour. This is 11 o'clock on your Thursday night. Low clouds, fog, scattered showers. And look at this on um, 7 a.m. We've got some showers early in the morning. Temperatures are already warm in the upper 60s, very humid. This is 7 a.m. Uh, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. They're pulling away. Notice during the afternoon, you don't see as much green. So I don't really see a lot of rain uh, during Friday afternoon, though the air will feel wet. It'll be very, very humid. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. More clouds than sun. And notice where your mildest weather is. Inland, 70s. Coastal areas, 60s. And then Friday evening at around 7 o'clock is the, you know, we get closer to a sunset and beyond. Uh, the, the atmosphere getting more saturated. We'll start to develop more fog and more sprinkles. These are the little green blips that you see in here. And then uh, scattered showers, another kind of a damp and uh, gray night on Friday night, 11 o'clock. Though temperature is very mild. I mean, 11 o'clock at night, it's close to 70 in some areas. So for your uh, Friday morning, damp gray fog, drizzle and showers, temperature starting off in the upper 60s. I don't really see much in the way of rain during Friday afternoon. I mean, I wouldn't rule out a shower. I just think it's mainly rain-free. Though it is cloudy, uh, warm, and humid. Fog will probably linger near the coast. Inland areas, we've got temperatures in the mid-70s. Speaking of the coastline, um, you know, the beaches, huh? I don't see much in the way of sun here. Foggy, especially in the morning, a few showers. Uh, temperature, air temperature 68, water temperature coming in at 55. All right, seven-day forecast. Saturday, warm and humid. The theme here is that it's not a washout, but a few scattered showers or thunderstorms. We may tend to see some sun breaking through, I'm thinking later in the afternoon, or early evening. Sunday looks nice. Uh, humidity is nice and low. It's dry, refreshing with sunshine and getting temperatures up into the, um, the lower 70s. So just kind of more of the same, very tropical humidity now through Saturday. Damp overnight, damp Friday morning, mainly cloudy, humid Friday afternoon, then damp and foggy with showers Friday night. Few showers on Saturday, but not a washout. Sunday is much nicer. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.